skin is alive? Yes, it is alive and it is teeming with tiny little bugs all over it. But you don't have to worry, they are not bad bugs. They make up what is called the microbiome of the skin. So you're probably asking, Hardeep, what is this microbiome? Well, exploring this complex topic is like going on a celestial journey and I'm ready to take you on this journey with me. So the microbiome is a very diverse community of microorganisms that live in and on our bodies. They're usually comprised of bacteria, viruses, fungi, and even mites. These bugs are an integral part of keeping our skin healthy. And when the balance of these microorganisms is disrupted, all kinds of problems can occur, such as dermatitis, acne, fungal disorders, and all kinds of other skin disorders. So why are we talking about the microbiome? Well, we here at 1212 Gateway always keep the microbiome in mind when we're formulating our products. So there are many different causes of an imbalanced microbiome, and today we're going to be naming a few of the most obvious ones. Number one, using too many foaming agents on your skin and even in your laundry. These good bugs live on our acid mantle, and when we use too many detergents or foaming agents, it disrupts the acid mantle, which is the home of these microorganisms, therefore disrupting their lives. And that usually results in our skin becoming very unhealthy. Number two, using products that have a very high pH. So as you know, on the pH scale of one through 14, one to below seven is acidic, and anything above seven to 14 is basic. Number three, misusing antibiotics. Antibiotics are one of the greatest invention of the 20th century and have done so much good for our world. However, overusing antibiotics and using them long term can not only damage our insides, but also our skin. This is because they can wipe out entire colonies of bugs from our bodies, whether they are good bugs or bad bugs. This then leaves room for invasive pathogens that don't necessarily live on our bodies to invade our systems and cause all kinds of issues. Acne, for example, can be caused in this way. Number four, an improper diet. You have probably heard this before, but you are what you eat. And in case of the microbiome, this couldn't be more true. What we eat feeds not only us, but all of the millions of bugs that live in and on us. For example, how much sugar you eat and how much water you drink can affect what kinds of microbes live on your skin, therefore either making it healthy or unhealthy. And finally, number five, eczema, psoriasis, and other types of skin disorders. Having eczema or psoriasis affects your skin barrier, therefore, affecting all of the microbes that live and depend on it. In the case of eczema and psoriasis, your body produces less ceramides, and when this happens, the overall barrier function of the skin is compromised, therefore affecting how well these colonies can reside on your body. However, this does not mean that if you happen to have eczema or psoriasis that you are completely out of luck. In fact, there are so many new things you can do for your skin now, and we here at 1212 Gateway make it easy for you. So now that you know about all the various things that can affect your microbiome, please join us next time for part two, where we discuss all of the amazing things you can do to have a healthy microbial system on your skin and in your body. I'm sure you have lots of questions for me after this video, so please like, subscribe, and comment below on what else you'd like to hear from us about. We're so grateful to come along with you on this incredible journey. Mm -hmm.